Hello, hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon, wherever you're watching. I haven't even checked yet um, how many people are from the US or from Europe or Asia or whoever's watching this. I should probably do that at some point. So I get to know my audience a little bit better. We are approaching 400 subscribers, um, which is really nice. Uh, things are really picking up now, so appreciate it. Everybody watching, thank you very much. And don't be shy to leave comments and, you know, the usual, right? The works. Like, subscribe and whatnot. All right. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the notes here. We only have to have one macro news awareness, right? That's tomorrow. Fed interest rate decision plus press conference. All that happens two hours before the close, one and a half hours before the close, respectively. That's all we need to know. Okay. So the market is waiting for this. Yesterday was a fairly lackluster day, and today might be the same. We'll see. So the notes. What has really changed here? Nothing much. I still have a bit of a bias that we might go up uh, because we had a trigger level here that did its thing. Nothing fascinating, really. If we look at where it went, 486, right? And that's pretty much it. And then it came all the way down, didn't take out the low though. And maybe it wanted to go up again, but now it's pointing down. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll just leave the arrow in here and then we can monitor this a little bit more. Um, dollar index seems weaker, but I don't have anything to draw here. So we just let it play out, right? But it seems that for now, this uh, this trend line here is not in reach anymore. It's been broken a few times. They were not able to reclaim it. Um, and that's that's all I can say, right? It was a beautiful trend line, even up to here. Respect Price respected it very much. But we are now going somewhere else with it, it seems. So dollar weakening a little bit. Um, what about the VIX? VIX is still in play for this guy right here, which is a cipher, a bearish cipher. I have to adjust this a little bit to 786 to get a very precise trigger level. Very often we will not trigger at a precise level, but whatever. And since this is the VIX and it's just oscillating back and forth, don't get too academic with drawing harmonic patterns here. I did it anyways. And I initiated this thing when we basically were down here at an extension level. If you remember that from a few days ago, you can go back in the videos there. So I'm still waiting for this, you know, to really come to the trigger. And then it might go down again and it might, you know, call for strength in equities. Similarly, if we get weaker here in the dollar, it tends to be fairly okay for the equities, right? And we are also, right now at least, we are getting weaker in the notes as well. Also a sign for the equities, right? That they might be holding or going up or whatever. And our friend Gold doesn't care about any of this. Gold is just doing its thing. We are back at this horizontal structure right here. And again, you know, we've been stair-stepping up. We're chopping around a little bit. There's nothing you can draw here. Um, you have to be patient. You have to just wait it out. But there's the horizontal structure again. As I mentioned a few videos ago, you can draw these structures and you don't have anything to do anymore for weeks and months on end because price keeps revisiting them. Price is always discovering. It's going south, then it changes direction. It goes north, it goes south again. It chops around. That's, that's just what it is, especially in the indexes especially in the indexes, right? And this is what this looks like, right? So it's doing its thing. We can try to draw FIPS. Oh, I have to get rid of the magnet mode for a second. Interesting, right? Look where we are. This is a down move. And now we are sitting at 618 here and we have this horizontal structure, right? So this is not uninteresting. Let's put it this way. Let's draw a little bit of a, of a rectangle here so we know we are in this area where we could get a reversal. Could get a reversal, maybe. Right? Because we have confluence, 618 and a horizontal structure. Where does the horizontal structure come from? Let's just check that out real quick. It's this guy right here. You see this? 
this is the horizontal structure we're hitting right now and this is this is defined in a way you see this here how price bounces off of it does the same thing here right back in the day did it here and here so this level has meaning 19 what is that 1955 1950 yeah 1955 i talked about it before many many weeks ago 1955 level and then don't forget that overall we might still be forming this guy so this is another reason to have a bias to the downside okay actually I have to sorry I have to adjust this whole thing holy shit because of the contract change everything gets messed up a little bit right this is actually what it looks like so we are hanging there going sideways which is not great um, you know, we should have really broken down here at this point, really straight down, but instead we bounced again, now we're going sideways. We're basically walking out of this pattern on the right-hand side, which is not good. So don't overemphasize this bias, right? This has to be always careful, always looking and uh, see, see what it does, right? So a bit of a bias, but shorter term is probably a little bit more interesting. See, so yeah, I would have to move down all this stuff here. What is this up there? Holy man, Jesus Christ. God knows where that came from. Well, somewhere here. I don't really care. This one it seems to be okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. So one hour, check it out, right? Maybe you get a... Um, Lower time frame reversal signal of sorts. I'll talk about this uh, in, a, in a second because we had something in oil yesterday. Okay, so basically if this reverses here as well in gold, that's the fourth one. If there is correlation, negative correlation with the equities, that's the fourth one out of these here that would suggest that, right? That would suggest a strength in equities. So this is interesting, right? What about equities themselves? You know, yesterday, very stale market, nothing going on, not interesting, right? So let's see what we got now. One hour chart here. That is also from yesterday. I was looking at it last night. That's why I was, why I was drawing it. We came off the 618 here. We tested it again. Now it seems we're going down again. Uh, multiple tests of the 618 i'm not a fan of that it should have really bounced way more but then you know the market closed at some point right so there wasn't time left for really active trading there so i'm gonna get rid of it is there anything else we can look at right here we can try to draw something yes let me try to draw harmonic going up here obviously right and then we're going, this is a low going here. Six, seven, nine. That is a godly pattern. This is a sufficient C level. It has to be at least six, one, eight. It's at seven, three. And now we get the famous three triggers. Seven, eight, six is one of them. That would be here. The next one is an extension of A and B. Fifth extension. That would be just here. And the third one is an A, B, C, D. So A, B going to clone that line and then move it here and anchor that C speculating that C was actually where C will be and remain right so we don't go back up or something which will I, it would be fine it's not a problem as long as we don't take out A we are all good A is the line in the sand so if you look at all of these use a rectangle again this is the zone right and do you notice how the ABCD and the 1272 are in perfect confluence here? They're at exactly the same level. Interesting, right? So should have your eyes on this thing. Should have your eyes on this thing. Might go here. Bounce. Might be a fade into the open or whatever, right? So that's an idea for the ES. Let's take a look at the NQ. That is really very, very much sideways here, the NQ. Oh my God, everything is effed up here because of the contract change. My lovely drawings of all those harmonics, man. What a pain. What a pain trading is, huh? 
So this is still one big move here. Might still come down to 618, though I don't think it's going to be that interesting. But so uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I don't think it's interesting at all. We already came down here so much. Uh, no, I'm I'm going to get rid of it. We have this horizontal structure here anyways. So that's good. Good enough. This is, gets really small here. I'm not going to draw anything here. I think the S was a little bit. Yeah, not really that much better, but I want to see bigger patterns, right? And this one here is just, yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Sometimes it's just like, do I have to do this? Yeah, so this is also godly. It's the same idea. This is what it would look like. And then extensions here as well. Like so. Now this time the 786 and the 1272 are in confluence, right? We get this. And the ABCD. Let's take a look at that one too. So much work with the Gartley, man. Yeah, very close. You see this? So this this trigger zone here is really, really tight. Look at that. This is the zone. So what's the idea? Yes, going down, hitting it, going up. Could really be a fade into the open in an hour or so. We'll see. What about the Dow? I don't, this is not nice. Yeah, I'm not going to draw anything there. Um, the rest of it, yeah, we could break this as opposed to the other ones. That would be, you know, a different idea. Did I just, you know what? I just effed it up. I didn't have the adjustment in here for anything. Is that true? Okay, let me just move. Sorry, now I have to clean up a little bit. I apologize for, for the mess here. I didn't have this, this thing activated. I just have to clean up a few things. Hang on, bear with me for a second. See, this is adjusted. This stuff is fine now, right? What about gold? Adjusted. See, this is in nowhere's land, this thing. I don't even know where that was. Whatever. This is fine. This is okay, I think. Whatever. Okay, let's go back to it. So this is the YM idea, right? Yeah. I have a lot of levels drawn here, like in terms of extensions. This might be very confusing, but <clears throat> obviously the the ideas are still the same, right? This is also Gartley pattern. We could also go into this box. This box has the triggers all over the place, so that's not that clean, it seems, but it is what it is. And then, you know, you can also have a simple extension of this move. That would be the one two seven two one four one four down here, but we are not busy with that. We are not occupied with that. We're just looking at this. This is the next thing to look at. Okay. The Russell. Yeah, I was drawing something in here yesterday. So first things first, we didn't make it to the trigger. We didn't quite get to the one two seven two. There's a big gap here. We can still get there, somewhere down the line here. And then yesterday I was looking at the intraday action and I was drawing a little bit here, but that doesn't really matter. And I have so many arrows now, I'm going to get rid of a few of them. So this could still be the bounce here at 1272. That's all we need to know. If it bounces, because you know there is another bigger butterfly behind it and that trigger level is lower, so we could break the 1618 of the current butterfly, which would then obviously not materialize, but just you know a little bit below that is the 1272 of the larger butterfly. Okay, so you have to keep all this in mind here. The best thing here is to work with confirmation on a on a smaller time frame, five minute chart, ten minute chart, something like that, to really look at the trigger level here. And then say, okay, I need to I need to see some strength to the upside here. If I don't get it, I'm not touching it. Strength could be it closes on the other side of a moving average, like a short-term moving average, like 10 moving average, 20 moving average. Um, 
on the 10 minute chart, right? So you have to zoom in. Now we're on an hourly chart. You have to switch it to 10 minutes or five minutes. Look at the box, see what happens there, right? And that's that's how you have to work this. Or you have, like, if you know, uh, you know, like a candle pattern that you have noticed might indicate reversals and work with that, like a pin bar, or sometimes there are bars that are pretty much the exact same size, same body size, same candle size. They're just different colors. They are like an immediate reversal signal, right? So I don't know if I have an example here. Yeah, this one. Look at this, for example. Look at these two guys here. Do you see this? So the size of this red candle compared with the size of the green candle that follows right away, this is an immediate reversal. This is suggesting that the bears have pushed it too far and the bulls are saying, you know what? You don't even get a confirmation of your low. We're not even going there. We're going to push it right back up and then we're going to get some follow through. They lost it later on. That's fine. It's just that, you know, you can see there's a bit of a reversal and then you could work with a stop just down here. And if it doesn't hold, it doesn't hold. That, that's just life, right? So you have to work with something like this on a smaller time frame here. Ducks. Yeah, they came all the way back down here. I think this, this pattern that I had envisioned here is not going to happen. This is way too much of a pullback. So nothing much to do right now. This could turn into a um, triangle for butterfly, but that's it. So I'm not drawing anything else here right now. We'll, whoops, we'll look at it tomorrow again. It's nothing to do. So in oil yesterday, big box here, right? So yesterday I zoomed into the box when the market was open. I looked at the 10 minute chart. Well, I think I did I already draw this. I think I, I drew this yesterday already in the video, right? But we were still somewhere here or whatever. Yeah, this one didn't work, right? 1618 got hit multiple times. That's the stop. And still price went down, right? First it went down a little bit and I hit it again, took out highs, and then went all the way down. But yeah, that's that's live. But after that, they couldn't follow through anymore. They went back up. And so what I'm gonna do now is let's get rid of the extensions. We can leave this in, that's fine because it just didn't work, but this one was the right direction, but you got stopped out here, there was no way. Unless you work with different um, parameters, if you use different FIB extensions for harmonics, and there are plenty of people out there who do that, maybe you survive this, I don't know, but it was it was chop, it came back and God knows what, right? So let's, let's clean out a few of the errors. We are still at the extension, right? We are past 1414, but we are not yet here. So I'm still curious about potential reversals here. But for now, looking at an hourly chart, there's nothing to do in here. Yeah, there's nothing to do in here. I don't see anything. You can you can work with subwaves, which means that you already have a trend and then you anchor it at a low. I'm not a big fan of doing it, but if you did it, you can anchor it here, you bring it up to here. This is a pullback of 502. And then you can try to get a 1272 up there, which would be, where is it? Here somewhere, 1271, okay. And then a 786, somewhere down here. That's a super early idea and you should not pay attention to it at all, right? This is just an earlier day because of the pullback. So if you project 1272, you, you get to this point, which is still in between 1414 and 1618. It's like in the first third of, of this distance. I don't want to make it too complicated. So let's say goodbye to oil for now before things get too messy. Um, Bitcoin, still moving up. Pattern, nope, don't see anything. Wait and see. This thing can move that a little bit higher. Let's take a look at Ethereum. 
Yeah, so the idea was it goes to 618, which is the, which it did yesterday. It bounces, that, that's what it did, but then it came back, right? Let's wait and see. Anything to draw? Again, that would be like a subway thing. Just for shits and giggles, we can put this here and guess what? We get a Gartley again. Yep. 786, somewhere here. I think I have OCD. Even though this is not really a pattern yet and no nothing, I still find myself always drawing stuff. I can't I cannot control this. I have to do this naturally. I cannot just leave this like halfway and say maybe and you do the rest. I always have to draw it. Weird, right? So the box here, they had confluence A B C D and the 786. And not too far off, you have the 1272. So there's a box here. So I'm going to adjust things a little bit like this. Then maybe it goes back up or something. That's the best guess, right? Uri USD, um, they never got to the trigger level here, so I'm going to delete it. Even though the idea was correct that it would go up, but that might just be coincidence, right? And there's nothing else I see here right now. Oh, well, let's, well, let's try this. I shouldn't have said that, right? We're getting pretty extended here, but it's okay. Like the wick is at 1536. The close of the candle was at 1391. So below 1414, that's all right. I'm still going to use the wick to measure 786, somewhere here. So what's the idea? Weakness and some more strength, right? And there's another arrow down there. Hang on. Yeah, I don't know. This probably has to do with uh, this horizontal structure. So my assumption would be we might re revisit that at some point. Okay. Wow, man, that was like a lot of charts to look at and we still have to do the stocks. I need to drink something, you know. Okay, but before we go to the, to the stocks, let's recap this. So gold is sitting here. Might might just reverse here from the 618. That's something to look at. The ES might find itself on the smaller Gartley. That's something to look at. It already pierced a bit lower here, as you can see. Similar idea for the NQ. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hi. And the Dow, I don't see much. I just have this I have this bias to the downside. And the Russell, similar idea as in the um, ES and NQ. It's just a different pattern. This would be a butterfly. The other ones were Gartley's. But again, you have to be careful, right? Remember, there is a bigger pattern behind it. So we might break. The 1618. This is why I was talking at length about looking at smaller time frames when we get into the box and then get confirmation to the upside. Some price action confirmation. Nothing in the ducks and nothing in oil right now. Oil is already going higher. Might go to this 1272. We'll see. Maybe that's something to watch. Maybe. You, you make the decisions. I don't make decisions for you. You should not do whatever other people do on YouTube anyway, especially not in trading. These are just idea generations, nothing else. Not advocating that you do anything. All right, there's nothing in the cryptos. Um, maybe down the road in Ethereum, Gartley. And then this is also half-baked right now, EURUSD, right? But you see there's plenty of stuff happening. Plenty of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of screening. The man with the setup that never shows up, right? <laughs> so we adjust it because there are no hits. 
And let's see what we get. Eight. Not too bad. Okay. I would have to zoom in like indefinitely to get to the price action here. I don't know what this is. The market cap is 4.3 million. Are you kidding me? This is another tiny one in the shard is shit. Tiny. Tiniest of tiny. Tiny biotech. Ugh. Mm, something in the billions, finally. Software infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It already faded. Whatever it did yesterday. No, sorry. Wait, yeah, that's all what it did yesterday. Yes, it was Monday, right? It faded all day long. CCCS. Okay. So they had earnings, right? It says here they had earnings August 1st. That would have been only like six, seven weeks ago. It's weird. Yeah, this is also from August. So there are no news here. Seems there are no news. Don't know. This one here is tiny. It's a penny stock. This one here is going the wrong way. It's low priced. That's it. So the only thing here is this, but it doesn't have any news. Right? It obviously had consolidation here. It broke out of it. Build a bit of a flag here on this weekly chart, and then it went up again. So you, you do your research. Maybe this is something you want to look at. Um, I, I, can, I already know what's going to happen when I try to find fundamentals for this. I think we're not going to get anything. Well, at least a little bit. Um, the earnings are always the same. Okay. The revenue is gradually going up very slowly, though. So I don't know. There's, there doesn't seem to be that much dynamic. Not a problem with, with a short flow. There's just no news. Maybe that's seems to be something hidden, right? You have to drill into this thing. I don't know what it is. And it doesn't have doesn't really have a lot of history, right? CCCS. What is that on the daily chart? How many years? Yeah, this is where it started here. IPO in in October 20. And then it chopped around and it's coming back to where it used to be, etc. Okay, we've seen it, right? We've seen it. What about pre-market? Let me just refresh it. Almost there. Another 30 minutes till the open. Tiny, 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 done. Nothing to do. No volume and tiny. This is a $4 stock. 2.2 million, but down 20%. The other stuff here is not down 10% and it also has no volume. I wonder what RKLB is. Rocket Lab USA. Wow. What a name. And it dropped lower to $4, right? So I don't know what to do with this. For shits and giggles, we're going to look at Rocket Lab's fundamentals. If they have them. And they barely have them. So this company has never made money. This company had sales like that before. The sales are small. And oh, is this really space stuff, right? Oh, yeah, a space company provides launch services and space system systems for the space and defense industries, launch services, spacecraft design services, spacecraft components manufacturing. Okay, they do all this and make a revenue of 50 million. You know what this company is? You know what that is? That's a story stock. They want to do something and maybe they do a tiny little product 
but they pump this up like, oh, we are flying to Mars, right? Shit you do. Look at the revenue. This is a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Forget it. You want to lose your money? Try me, right? Okay, guys, there's nothing to do. Nothing to do. Unless you're a day trader who loves to short stocks at $4. <laughs> Story stock at $4. If you love doing that, go for it, man. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. So a lot to look at here in the futures, not in stocks. Stocks, there's nothing going on. But the futures, I showed you plenty of, of stuff to monitor today. So go ahead, do that. Look at it and make your decisions and make them wisely. Don't F it up, right? Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you much for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.